What's going on everybody? This is your host Manik and welcome back to yet another video on this channel. And we finally have a good stable Gcam mod 8.0 for OnePlus Nord, OnePlus 8 series including OnePlus 8T along with OnePlus 7 and 7T series. So the Gcam mod I have mentioned in the description area will work on all of these devices. Though you can test the performance and let me know as I don't have all of these devices. So I'm currently testing it on my OnePlus 8T and Nord. So in this video, let's have a look at what's new with this latest Gcam mod 8.0. Well as you know, Google camera has been one of the most reliable camera apps especially for OnePlus phones because they do have a capable hardware already. Anyways, to install this Gcam mod on your device, well you don't have to learn rocket science. Just download the APK from link in description area and once it's done, just tap on it. Hit install and you are all set, I swear. Plus you can keep this new Gcam mod and your older 7.3 or whatever version you were using which is even better. So now let's have a look at all the changes. First and easily noticeable is this shutter button. So that has changed now and it looks something like this for image mode and this for video mode. So that's change number one. The other one is this color of bottom scrollable menu. So that has been changed to this grey color now. One good thing I observed is this auto night sight mode which is really appreciated because now you don't have to scroll all the way to night sight mode and then take a picture because that would just ruin the moment right? So the camera will automatically decide when night sight is needed and take a picture. Also I noticed that the time taken to click an image in night sight mode is slightly lesser now and you don't get this big progress bar which some of you might not like because it now lives in this new shutter button and it is a bit hard to see sometimes. Another UI change is with this 1x and 2x time zoom button. So that is a bit refined now. And if you thought that's it, well you are highly mistaken. So in the video mode, we have this new sub menu that looks and feels really easy to use. So it gives you the normal slow mo mode, time lapse options in one single place. And that makes it quite handy. Next to that menu, you have video stabilization options. And that has all the features from Pixel series. So hats off to developers for bringing this port for non-pixel devices. So once you click on the type of stabilization, it will now show you certain hints about every type. And I truly appreciate it as it will help newbies like me. Plus I will show some samples in a bit so stick till the end. Let's jump to the settings now to see the changes it brings. So the UI seems more or less similar but a bit less uncluttered than before. And now we have this new low storage mode. So this mode will basically decrease the resolution and compress the videos efficiently. So you can use it in case you are low on storage and wish to take maximum pictures without caring much about the image quality. So the budget devices will really get a lot of benefit from this one. We also get the social share option and you can share the images taken from Gcam mod with these applications. So in case you find the stock camera to be okayish, you can go ahead and choose this one. And last but not the least, we have this audio zoom feature for videos. What this will basically do is to focus on the source of audio as you zoom in while making a video. And this way, you can get clearer audio and I find it really neat, only if it works well. And I do think it will help quite a lot in post pandemic scenarios, during concerts and Ram Leela of 2021 probably. One last thing to note is that it does not support ultra wide and macro cameras as of now. So that was all for changes in UI and new features and now let's have a look at the image samples. So I did click quite a few images to test this camera out and the image quality seems more or less similar to what we had with the last version of Google camera. Though I do feel that the images have a bit more sharpness overall and of course all this will improve over time and I'm quite optimistic about it. The images shot in night sight are a bit sharper now and they have a bit more details. So zooming in and you can see the same. The skin tones and overall night sight is more effective than before and that's a good thing. The images shot from front facing camera might not be the best because of aggressive HDR but they are really natural with plenty of details. The portrait mode is also improved and I can see that the edge detection is a bit improved in complex scenarios. Though the quality of images from the older version is more reliable as of now. But after a few updates to this Gcam, we will have a new king. Overall, the images have quite good dynamic range. Lastly, here is a video sample shot from the back camera using this Gcam Mod 8. So you guys be the judge now. I also tried using the other two modes of stabilization and they look quite good. Though each of those options have their own use case. 
Anyways, that's it for all the features and a quick review of this Gcam Mod 8 on the OnePlus Nord. And I'll be testing it on the OnePlus 8T in a separate video. So stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't already. Lastly, like this video if it helps you out and I'll see you in the next one.